Hey guys, just finished my first podcast. We're doing a 21-day practice. Each day is a different emphasis. Follow us on Instagram at passioncreek.church or my Instagram, I'll keep referencing it. Anyways, this is like three different parts. This is just a clip. The whole podcast is 20 minutes talking about today's practice and also leaning into tomorrow's. Today is about prayer for formation. Anyways, description down below. We'll show some timestamps to help you. Hope this is valuable to you. Thank you for spending any time with me. Love you guys again. This full episode is on the Ministry Podcast on iTunes and Spotify. See ya. You know, it's like we've been talking about a lot about this trying versus training dichotomy and, and how when you're trained to you become a Christ follower, you don't just run the marathon tomorrow, you start slow. And so um, I, I'm really seeing that this 21 day practice I like more because it really enables our people to kind of see all the different facets of the Christian life. And we didn't even touch all of them uh, by any means, but we're, we think this is a really, really good start. And so if we just told everybody just fast for 21 days, I, I think uh, people would quit before they even start. But with this 21 day practice, uh, each day is a new day, something different. Now I would encourage you if you feel like you're further along in your relationship with Christ and, and you're enjoying this training, um, I would encourage you to fast every day. I would encourage you to to partake in certain practices that are helpful and beneficial for you. I think the whole goal here is to really lean into God's grace. And I think that's why a lot of people are hesitant. And I, I like how we're using the word practice. Um, other people call it disciplines. Other people just simply call it obedience. And I think people are hesitant towards leaning into this kind of life because we have so seen um, the negative of this, right? We've seen, uh, like we've been talking about at church, again, Pharisees were all about more obedience. And I don't want that. I don't want to where it's just a bunch of rules to follow and you've removed the relationship. However, we have so swung the other way to where we just say it's all about relationship. There's no rules to it. Well, there's certain things I must do as a husband because I love my wife. I have to partake in certain things uh, to to really actually enjoy her and to serve her. And, and so I think these practices are helpful because it puts us in a position to receive God and his promises and his presence. These practices are how we partake in God's promises. I like to think of it, and I actually, I think I'm maybe even kind of taking away my zinger for Sunday, but I was, as I was contemplating this morning, I think we need to see these practices not as much as an act of expression for our affection for God, but more about our reception of God's grace in our life. So these practices have more to do with him than it has to do with us. I really hope we see that difference there. The practices are essentially making way for God to move. Is not saying, I have done all the work, now God, you do your part. It's saying, God, I am removing the clutter. I'm removing certain things. I am allowing you to take control of my life, but I'm not going to tell you where to take it. You're going to take it where you need to, but I'm just saying, I am open. I am here. And so I'm doing this to receive your grace, not, to ex not as much about expressing my thanks. That's a part of it. But I think we so emphasize expressing our thanks because we want to make it about how awesome we are. We want to claim to God how great we are and how we deserve his affection. I really think this is a helpful, I'm not going to lie, I'm still processing this. In fact, right after this podcast, I'm going to think about this a little bit deeper, and I think it'll be a little bit more well-informed thought on Sunday. So just praying, okay, God, examining my life as I, as I approach, as I'm starting this 21 days, what is it in my life that I need to form into you? What habits do I have that are actually leading me towards um, not communing with you, but actually leading me away from you? God, I pray that you form my heart, my soul, my actions today so that I actually lean into your grace. Like that's the desire for today. That's the prayers, just that every facet of our being. So I would love for that to mean we contemplate and think, how am I starting my days? How am I... How am I pursuing these things? Am I doing these things correctly? Like, am I starting my day with you or am I starting my day with Facebook, right? Those kind of things. That's the start of this, this prayer that God would just take over and do so many things. Um, I just think these practices are just going to be so helpful. I was reading this book. I just finished it today. It's called You Are What You Love by James K.A. Smith. The tagline is the spiritual power of habit. I loved it this morning. I thought it was so good. And in his chapter, um, one of the later chapters, it talks about how we need to just really form people. And I think this is helpful for what we're talking about today. We're praying for formation. And in this, uh, he actually talks about how, how we can be more formed. Um, he said this, in my experience, many young people are intensely ritual animals without realizing it. 
And when they entered, when they are introduced to habit forming practices of Christian faith, AKA 21 day practice, what up invited into ways of following Jesus that are ancient and tested, their faith is given a second life. Oh God, may that be true for our people. They receive the disciplines, not as burdensome duties, but as gifts that channel their devotion and shape their faith. I love this line. Instead of relying on their own internal piety and willpower, and then um, parentheses, which is a wrong-headed way to think about discipleship anyway, in, in parentheses, young people experience historic practices of prayer and devotion as gifts of grace in themselves, a way that the Spirit meets them where they are. I hope you got that. Ugh, so stinking good. I love it. He's saying, you know what? We, we're, we're in a culture. We're still trying to find the new trick, right? And the reality is these practices, and we're going to be I mean, like, what are the practices? Just keep joining us on these 21-day practice. We're going to keep trying new things. Some of these things are going to be so fun. Other of these things are going to be challenging. But the point is we're actually kind of realigning ourselves with, with all of Christian history and just re- rewiring our desires, our affections, our loves towards God, and it's not just with the mind. That's the whole purpose of this. I hope you're encouraged by it. We want to spur you on towards love and good deeds, and, and that's kind of the desire for it.